Hello everyone and welcome to Banished. I've found myself playing this game a lot lately so I figured I'd make uh, a few videos here because it is extremely addictive. So I've started off pause so I can do a few things. I want to set up my crops so that they uh, so that they're they're going right off the bat because I don't know how long the first uh, summer is because you can only grow crops in the summer. We have cabbage and wheat. Those are excellent starter foods. Usually I get something crappy. Alright, what else? I'm going to uh, plan some roads here, just so I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. And one thing I actually want to do is I want to get rid of this initial... What do you call it? This uh, stockpile, because it's a bit small. And I'm going to be cutting a lot of stuff down. All these trees, all these rocks, I'm going to be harvesting all of it. So I'm going to get rid of that soon. Here right off the bat. I'm going to set up a boarding house. Because if they don't have a place to sleep during the first winter, they're pretty much all going to die. So that's definitely a priority. And then I'm going to have them cut down some trees and stuff. Just all the rest of them that aren't really doing anything. You can just go over there and do that. Alright, let's go ahead and start up time here. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and I am going to need some people to uh, actually build this masterpiece over here. Excellent. Okay, now for that stockpile that I mentioned, put that right over here, I guess. Actually, let's get rid of this road. Let's de-road this. I don't want that. I'm going to put the, the stockpile right there, right next to the barn. Let's do something like this. How big can I make it? We'll do that. That'll be my new stockpile, and as part of that, I'm going to completely remove this stockpile so that they stop putting things here. Alright, now it says I'm low on pretty much everything. Iron, firewood, stone. Yeah, we're pretty much low on everything. Oh, but that's because this technically, I don't own these resources right now. They have to move it over, so that would explain that. Because I got plenty of all the things. Got plenty of everything. Alright, this boarding house is done. Excellent. And everyone is inside of it. Awesome. And it has a little symbol over it that, uh... That snowflake represents that it's cold. I don't think that it actually is. I just think that they don't have any firewood. We, we technically do not own this firewood, so... It'll, it'll all get moved into the right place here soon. This wheat's almost done, which means that winter is coming. Brace yourselves. Winter is coming. Uh, what else should I build here? I'm going to plant down... Let's do some fish. Let's get some fish down here. Right here. Has to be partially in the water for you to get fish. Now, I haven't really checked out my map. I want to see what I got here. I got a good mountain here, which is good for mining. Actually, I have a really good map. All this open land, I can build on and I can harvest. I can do whatever I want with it. If I started on, like, a small island, which I have before, I would have been screwed. Not totally screwed. You can build bridges across the water, so... And I started I'm playing on a medium map, which is actually pretty big. I can't imagine myself using all of it. I can't even imagine how big a, a large map is. It'd be excessive. Alright, how are we doing on food? We, we have tw 255 potatoes. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put some more people on the fish. We need more fish and actually a cabin, which I can just kind of stick out here in the... Uh, Wilderness. I don't think the deer are going to show up in the middle of my uh, town. I know they do at the beginning, but I would imagine that there would be more of them in the wilderness. So. Like, look at this. They're literally standing on the spot where I'm going to kill them. Isn't that nice? That's convenient. Awesome. Let me undeploy people in the crop field, because they're not going to be able to work again until the ne next summer. Because winter is about to happen. Soon enough, anyway. 
So I'm going to tell him to cut down some more things here. What do we got? Like, just, just get rid of all, of all of that. All of that. And I should start building houses soon. I'm going to start off by building stone houses. Uh, wooden houses are less expensive, but they provide less warmth. The, uh, the stone houses will... I think it's an investment that's better made early on, I would say. You'll need a lot more stone, obviously. Uh, and wow, actually more wood, too, which is kind of weird. A stone house uses more wood than a wooden house. That's, that's a bit odd, but whatever. Um, anyway, it's an investment. You'll burn through less firewood because they will be warm. And speaking of which, how are they on coats? When they run out of coats, it causes the same problem. Okay, winter is here. It's kind of instantaneous in this game. Uh, we, we're good in iron tools as well. That's good. We still have some food. Things are looking pretty good right now. Which is excellent. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make sure there's a pathway through to the back here. Where the fish thing is. Let's kind of plan that. I hope something fits in here quite nicely. Actually, what what can I put there? Like a... That leaves a little bit of extra space. I'm sure it'll be... It'll be fine if there's a little extra space. That doesn't bother me too much. I just don't want it to be a whole bunch. It's so weird. I don't normally play this with headphones. I only wear the headphones when I'm recording. And you can hear every detail of the chopping wood and everything. Like, it's it's intense. Okay, summer is back. Get those people back on the crop field so they can work. Excellent. Okay, some good resources here. The iron is the, uh, the kind of square black rocks here. And the stone are the round ones that look like eggs. Obviously, the trees are trees. Those are the three main resources you get from the environment. There's also the um, the other stuff, like, hold on, let me... Like these mushrooms down here. And these... You can you can get an herb thing. Where is it? The, uh, the herbalist. And the... Hold on, where is it? The gatherer's hut. You can get a gatherer's hut that'll collect that stuff. And I have no idea what it's used for. I don't know if they cook it and eat it and it provides food or what. I, I have absolutely no idea. I've never used it. I should probably figure it out. How are we doing on food? Fish. We, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. We're, we're not going to be doing fine for long though. So I'm actually going to put down a second crop field here. Make it the same size. And they've got a tree to remove before they can do that. There we go. And let's actually do cabbage on this one. And let's see if we can get this one going before winter comes around. Where's the harvest at on this one? It's about halfway. So when this one gets halfway, I'm going to harvest it early. Because I don't want to get screwed by winter. Theoretically... Theor theoretically, when this one is about done, a little bit longer after that, but when it's done, winter will come and all my crops will die. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen with the, the cabbage that I'm growing late. What's this say? Low on food. Yes, we sure are. There's a little bit extra. They have 500 fish in here. We, they got some potatoes, wheat. Boarding house is fine for now. Although, I am going to want to start building normal houses at some point in the near future. Oh, we're out of firewood. That's bad. That's a bad thing. Let me uh, get a wood cutter here. Really? That doesn't fit. You gotta be kidding me. Oh no, it, d it fits perfectly. Never mind. What the hell am I talking about? What the hell am I talking about? Let's get that done. So we can, get, we can get some wood chopped up. Yeah, so when this is at 100%, I'll wait just a second longer and then I'll cut that down. I'll cut down the cabbage. If you harvest it earlier, you just quite simply get less food out of it. Alright, start chopping some wood, man. We need some firewood. Keep warm in this place. 
And yeah, we're low on food. It's a good thing they're harvesting this. And this... Actually, hold on. Let me just get more people deployed on here. Just get more people deployed on here. We'll, we'll do it really fast. When that gets to 75, I'll chop it early so that we don't lose it all. Oh, alright. Chop it early. Let's get rid of all of it. I actually went through that really fa fast. I could have waited a little longer if I knew they were going to work that fast. Alright, it's fine though. We should be good on food. Did they finish building this? They did. Okay, deploy some people on there. And we'll get some meat. Get some, some good old meat there. How are we doing on firewood now? Oh, we're doing more than okay. Pull that guy off. All right, now, homes. Homes, homes, homes. Where to put them? I don't want them in the middle of all my good stuff here because there's better things to put there. So I'm going to put it kind of off to the side, probably over here. Uh, stone home. We'll do... Let's put it there. And we'll kind of build a neighborhood over here. Let's put the one in there for now. Go over there and build it. Winter is here. You know, I could have actually done that entire harvest. I really could have. I, I You know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry, though, because I would lose all that food if winter came. And I think we're doing fine on food. Actually, we may have a little overkill for now. But overkill to underkill is a thing that happens very quickly. You gotta be careful. Alright, how much... Stone and iron, we are just fine. Although, if I'm doing stone houses, we're gonna need to cut cut down quite a bit of stone. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell them just, just get rid of all of that stone right there. Just harvest all of it. All right, you guys are fishing to your full potential. This thing is working to its full potential, I believe. Yes, it is. They'll just go around. Let's see, you got the guy down here. They'll just go around. Oh wait, no, they're doing the stone. Never mind. Where's my guy? Where's my guy? Where's the guy? You! Yeah, he's just gonna go around and kill some deer and whatnot. Which I guess is called venison. I didn't really know that was what deer meat was called. If it is deer meat, it may not even... No, that's a deer. That's definitely a deer. I guess deer meat is called venison. I never really knew that. I don't know much about meat. I don't even really eat meat in real life. Alright, so we got our stone house. With four people living in it. That is marvelous. I'm going to go ahead and put down a road. Dirt roads, I believe, are free. If they're not, it doesn't tell me. Okay. Build this road all the way out. Where is my road? I'm going a little past that. I can't even see it. Anyway, we'll just deploy all the people to here. There should be three on each. Okay. I'm actually going to pull a few people off of the fishing dock. They can work on there. Alright, we need to get rid of some of these trees so I can see things. They're kind of doing it on their own. They're getting rid of all the stuff that's on the path. Yeah, I want to connect those paths, but I want to do it right. I want to make sure I can actually see what I'm doing. Alright, what else do I need? Do I need a, a blacksmith? I do. We don't need a tailor just yet. But we definitely need a blacksmith. I'll put him right in here. This should be good. That should be good indeed. I'm not going to set up a trading port just yet. Because I don't really have anything to trade that would be unnecessary. Or a market. I mean, I'll, these are really far away, so a market would be good over here. But I'm just not going to worry about it yet. I'm just not going to care. I think cabbage grows faster than wheat. 
I was thinking when I started this that wheat was kind of grow, uh, growing slowly. I've done a lot of corn in the past. It starts you off with with random uh, with random food, so I don't. I started off with corn in the past. It seems a lot faster than wheat. I don't know if there's a difference or if it's just me, or what. But just something to note. And the cabbage seems. I don't know. The cabbage seems a little slow, but it, I think it's also going faster than the wheat. Just from a percentage perspective, I don't know if that's actually. Actually, they're about the same. They're they're the same. It doesn't matter. I think I think that corn is a little faster though. It just it just feels faster. <gasps> no, that road. Look at that road. It's in, okay. I'm gonna have to fix that immediately. It's a good thing they're free. I hope. I think. Where's the demolished road thing? There it is. Get rid of all of that. Get rid of that. Oh wow! I can actually see from this angle. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Right, we're gonna do this right. Okay. That should be it. Excellent. Okay. Everyone is getting their food. Can we get this blacksmith up and running, please? We're out of tools. That symbol above their head means they're out of tools. So, problem. That's what I would consider quite the little problem. And they're not building it. I couldn't tell you why. They're just not. We're, we're good on stone. Is it the iron? We're good on iron. Maybe it's the logs? No, they... Okay. Well, I guess they just need to uh, get their shit together. I'm going to go ahead and put a priority on that using the priority tool so that they know this thing is important. There they go. Now they're bringing stuff to it. Build that. They can't work efficiently unless they have their tools. So, I'm going to work on that. Okay, winter still hasn't hit. I think I can get away with only deploying three people to each crop field. The more you deploy, the faster it goes. These are kind of small. I could have built them bigger, but I like more control over what I build and win. Alright, wrapping up here. I pulled people off of it slightly too early for some reason. And... Really? Do you, you just left it at 99%? Really? Come on. What's that? What? You just, you just did... It's, at a, it's literally at 100%. Finish it up. There we go. Alright. Alright, so they'll, they'll make some uh, iron tools there. And connect this road again. Excellent, awesome, good. You're still working, right? At a hundred, hundred percent. Excellent. These question mark symbols just mean no one is working on it right now, which is completely fine because we're good on firewood, so we don't need this guy. And it's winter, so we don't need anyone on the crop fields. That wouldn't make any sense. Put a few extra people on the fishing dock. Reserve of tools is low. No shit. Okay, we're good on food, but I just I just want to be absolutely sure. So I might put in another uh, fishing dock. And actually, part of me says that the that the uh, hunting cabin is a little better because it gets both meat and leather, which leather can be used to make clothes. Which, speaking of which, how are we doing on clothes? We only have six left, which actually kind of lasts a while. I'm going to put three people on each of these and see if we can make it before the winter. It'd be good. Still good on firewood? Yes, we are. How marvelous. Yes, we are doing just fine. Awesome indeed. So I should set up another building. What should I set up? A well, a schoolhouse, hospital, town hall would be good at some point, but I don't think it's necessary quite yet. Chapel, 
Cemetery. Hmm. What else is there? Quarry. Mine. Which actually, I noticed we, ha we have this mountain here. So mine could fit well kind of back behind it over here. I mean, it could be in front too, but that's where my neighborhood is going. So I'm glad we have that mountain there. It's a good, good map spawn. Uh, what else? Tailor. We should, probably should set up a tailor. We do a tavern. Which actually, we have... I think... Hmm. You know what? I'll just I'll just do the, the tailor for now. Uh, we'll put it... Will it fit back here? There's kind of a space back here. I was looking at it. I'll put it right back there. Like I said, I want to put all the important stuff crammed into this area. Taverns, blacksmiths, things like that. All the houses, it doesn't really matter where they are. I want them back over here. Things need to be able to move, be moved quickly from place to place around here. So that's the only reason why I'm doing it the way I am. Okay. And we're still good on, actually... You know what? I'm going to put in another fishing port. As a precaution. Because I've lost a lot of good maps because of stupid mistakes. Like not having enough food. Oh, are we good on... We are good on tools. We have 49 of them. That symbol that just kind of flashed above its head is meaning that it hit its limit. You can have a tool limit as well as like a food limit and really any other kind of limit for anything else. That um, if they hit that number, they'll stop working because you don't want to fill up your inventory with things like that. So that symbol was telling me that I hit my limit of 50, which I can increase that limit or decrease it if I want to any number. Which is always good to know. Excellent. Now, another house would probably be good to have. Let's put another house in here. Put another one right in there. Did I ever finish this? Yes, I did. Okay. Just making sure. Except, there appears to be a hole. Put that in. No, just, just put in the one. It wanted to, like, drag. Kind of weird. We have one builder still. The weird thing about builders is that they're only doing anything if I have something to build. If I'm not building anything, they're just deployed to nothing. Which is kind of crappy. Now, it seems that we can get this done with three instead of four before winter. Winter has not come yet. Builder has actually had quite a few things to build and he's been on top of it. He's almost done with this now. Seems like he's going really fast here. He left me hanging at 97%. Come on, finish it up. What are we doing here? There we go. Deploy just a little more on there. Reserve of food is low, you say? It's not that bad. Although it is a good thing I built that when I did. And this got finished just in time before winter, which is excellent. So, I'm actually going to leave off this part here. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed or a dislike if you didn't. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Banished.